Hey everybody, the Reeswirel here, and welcome back to Joe Dever's Lone Wolf. Okay. Uh, Alright. It's just to watch in OBS stuff. <laughs> to make sure it'll all be fine. I believe I'd already read that. And I think I pop made this pop up last time. I can't remember if I did. It has been a long time. Oh wait, 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 wait. Right, I'm at full health. I don't know how much gold I have. Oh wow, I have a lot of shit. Uh, I have an awful lot of shit. I have four throwing knives. I've got like 20 of the superior ones. 21 of them. Uh, I've got a fair amount of space. Hang on. Oh, fucking hell. I've got shitloads of space. Jesus. Is that full? Oh, it is. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Western Wilderness. Let's go. More reading. Hooray! Do you want to write your story from here? Yes. Although in fairness, I wish with the Xbox One, I know there isn't a way, but I really, really wish there was a way of, um, uh, like backing up saves because that's something I like to do because the last thing I want to do is something to fuck up and I have to redo the entire game again like that is just not something I want anyway you discover a tall pine that has shed most of its foliage leaving its branches wait I'm assuming that's meant to be branches but they fucked up branches bare it is an easy task to climb this tree as soon as you clear the canopy of the surrounding forest. You study your surroundings. To the northwest, you see an ominous outline of the Vitag, of Vitag perched on the rim of the crater. Its grim silhouette chills your blood. You can trek directly towards the enemy fortress in the hope of finding a passage in the cliff wall that will enable you to gain entry, or you can explore the eastern area of the sunken forest. There you may find clues and information that will help you fulfill your mission. Make your choice. Oh wait, are these like side missions? Right, that's the main story. And these are like secondary plot missions? Oh fuck, no they're not. Oh. Well this... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Find clues and information. The eastern wilderness, or I can go to the deserter's hideout. That looks like it won't lead anywhere, whereas over this way it does. Yeah, because there's like this shit over here. We're coming to the end of this chapter, it's very, very obvious. This act. I keep saying chapter when I mean act. Anyway, we'll go... We'll go over to the desert's hideout. Just because it looks like it wouldn't lead anywhere. Whereas the other one would. Oh. Oh. You happen upon an area that is devoid of trees where the broken remnants of a shianti temple... Parapet... Parapet lie embedded in the stony topsoil. You can hear the sound of the Dracarim voices coming from beyond a mound of snow-covered debris. You move a little closer so that you can eavesdrop on their conversation. You learn that they are... What? Shadlazog, the military police of the Dracarim army. Oh. They've been sent on a mission to find a group of army deserters. They suspect they are hiding in a nearby cave, and they are looking forward to finding and giving them a summary execution. Their cruel laughter sends a chill down your spine. Pretty sure I've had like three chills down my spine in the past couple minutes. Make my choice. Let's be reckless. The Dracarim are not after you, but you prefer to deal with them nonetheless. Dracarim may reveal precious information so that you remain hidden and listen. Yes. You continue to eavesdrop on their conversation and you learn something that makes you smile. These Dracarim know that you are somewhere in the sunken forest. In Giak, they call, they call you Akiyamaz, Lone Wolf. They are more than a little frightened of your Kai powers, but they would rather be hunting for you than looking for cowardly deserters. One of the Dracarim leaves the others, he makes his way around the mound, desperate to answer a call of nature, he is lost in his thoughts and you try to sneak away while he is distracted. Unfortunately, he glimpses your movement, in an instant he recovers his weapon and shouts a warning to the others. Akiyamaz Doknag, or Doknaj. 
Uh, Lone Wolf, he is here. With your hiding place now discovered, you have no choice but to fight these Dracarim. You dare not let them escape. To raise the alarm among the enemy troops. Time to fight! Round one. Fight. Da da da! Ba 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 da da ba! Woo! Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, uh. No! Oh yeah, bitch. Oh, I don't get to counter. That's bullshit. Mm -hmm. I have not played in a while, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Ooh, it looks like that might level up soon. If I can do it. Oh! Yeah! Oh yeah, that's one thing I should do. Yeah, I should definitely start using this. Because what that does is allows me to use my weapons without, like, using up any strength. So... If I do that, that kills him. I can do a quick strike on the other guy, and then do all the shield things. Because I think the weapon stuff lasts for at least... Ah, oh, great. I'm pretty sure it lasts for a turn. Pretty sure. Oh, oh okay. I thought the game froze. I'm very confused. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, it's still active. And that guy's got 2,500. I won't be able to kill him with all three of these. Oh wait, no, I can use these two. Oh no, it's not working now. I'll just block. Then I'll be safe, at the very least. Ah. Uh... Nice try, fuckface. Oh wow, 729. That's a lot of damage. I'm still blocking. I'm bleeding too. No! Keep forgetting I can pan around the place. Oh yeah! I also forget about this. I have to mash Y though. Oh, oh yeah, and do that. Boom, boom! Alright, so we got one of them. Is it upgraded? Not quite. Oh fuck. Oh really? Oh my god, these guys suck. In all fairness, the one thing I absolutely hate with this game is the frequency at which enemies dodge. They can dodge you so damn much, and it's really stupid. There we go, he's stunned at the very least. Uh, no, I don't really know what I can do. Apart from wait it out. He should be stunned for my turn, or until I'm able to attack again. There we go. Oh, there we go. Master the technique. Oh, that's what it is. It's mastering the technique. There we go. So, does that actually mean anything? Or not? Does it mean I do more damage? Um, or what? <laughs> I think I'd like to know. I have no idea. I'm assuming it means I do more damage. With said technique. Oh, here we go. Combined attack. A single blow that can trigger an additional sequence of three strikes so long as... Oh! Th like, mastering it means it costs a fucking shitload less, which is really cool. Is that just for my current weapon, though? What? Oh. I was like, why the hell has it put me down there? Weird thing. Yeah, does that mean... I don't even know what I'm asking. I don't know what it means. Oh no, 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 that's what I was asking. Is that just for the one weapon, or is that for all weapons? I really, really hope it's across every weapon, or like maybe at least the sword weapon type. But I guess we'll see. You emerge from the trees onto a forest trail and discover several tracks partially covered with snow. On closer examination, you determine that they were made a little, or they were made little over 24 hours ago. From what you have recently overheard, you suspect these tracks were made by Dracarim deserters. You push on into the forest and soon you happen across, happen upon a wide strip of frosted shale, devoid of vegetation. You follow the tracks all the way to the cliff face where the area is littered with broken boulders. High above, perched upon the edge of the cliff, you get a chilling glimpse of Vatag in it all its unholy glory. Silhouetted against the moon. It chills your blood to be so close to the enemy fortress. Ah, uh, that's what that tower is. 
It also makes you wonder why the Dracarim have come here, of all places, to evade their pursuers. Perhaps the deserters were trying to return to the Darklands, the first stage of a long and dangerous journey back to their distant homelands, or maybe they simply ran out of places to hide and decided to stop here and await their fate. In either, in either case, they may well have inadvertently indicated a way for you to get into Vitarg. Carefully you scour the area among, along the base of the glyphs for any sign of an entrance to the fortress. Your search does not bear fruit, the cliff wall is sheer and there are, are no tunnels, stairs or mechanical winches by which to reach the cliff top. Oh no! You're about to give up searching when suddenly your pulse begins to race. In the middle distance, you can see the dull glint of a metal gate set in into the base of a cliff wall. It's a secret passage to Vitarg, or a place of refuge for the deserters, or for the Dracarim deserters. There's only one way to be sure. You hurry towards the gate and examine its dull black iron surface. To your surprise, you find that it's held secure by a simple lock plate. I think I have like 23 lock picks, so I will pick it. It'll increase my dexterity too. You want to act with discretion and you attempt to pick the lock. I think I have more than enough. I don't know what happens if you fail to pick it. Like, if you run out of lock picks and then back out of it, I'm assuming you can just choose from the other two. But I should be okay. Oh, this is the same lock from when we freed whats her face -his father. Okay, we're getting closer. So, it's over to the right. There we go. <laughs> Done! Simple! That was really easy. That was awesome. Beyond the gate you discover a rough... A rough hewn passageway strewn with woodman, woodman's tools. It leads to a small chamber that is, that is lit by a small candle perched atop an overturned wheelbarrow. To your surprise you find a solitary Drakkar sitting on the floor nearby. His head is slumped forwards and he is nursing a bottle of Helga Jod. Helga Jog. It is a notoriously harsh liquor distilled in the Dracarim homelands, and the chamber reeks of its Hedi or head Hedi aroma. No idea. The Drakkar is too drunk and dejected to pose any immediate threat. He seems to completely oblivious to your identity and the deadly danger you pose to him. It may be that he has mistaken you for one of his companions, or that you are simply beyond his focus. You keep your weapon to hand just in case as you attempt to coax him to part with some useful information. You console the desire and urge him to vent his despair and frustration. Another swig of Helga Jog loosens his tongue and he becomes very talkative. Although much of what he says is slurred and indecipherable, you understand enough of his Giac speech to learn that he was part of an attempted mutiny that took place at a large Dracarim encampment in the forest. A rival Dracarim captain with an old score to settle m mustered half the camp. He tried to kill the commander and take over the outpost. The deserters blames the deserter blames his leader for the disastrous failure of the coup. Unfortunately for them, a Gorgaz, oh, a Gawagaz, Gorgaz, whatever, was carrying out a surprise inspection of the camp when the revolt started, and it made short work of the mut mutineers and their luckless captain. Red Fang is the name of the Gawa Gawagaz that slaughtered the mut mutineers. The drunken Dragar, Drakar, Jesus considers himself lucky to be one of the few that escaped its deadly rage. You encourage the Drakkar to tell you more about the Gawagaz called Red Fang. Another gulf of Helgadrog and you soon learn that Red Fang is the highest ranking of all enemy troops operating in the